I'm New Age Designs and today we're here in Stormworks Build and Rescue for a tutorial on how to use gearboxes. Small example vehicle. This vehicle will help me explain what gearboxes do and how they react in Stormworks. First we're going to turn on the engine here and then we're going to look at the RPS and the torque. This, give, this what engine here is giving off 15 RPS and 20 torque. As we go down, the RPS is exactly the same until we reach here where it's going into this propeller. But as, as we look at the torque, as we go down, it slowly decreases. This is just down to how far it's having to travel. All these gearboxes at the moment are set to one to one. That means that for every rotation of the engine, the gear box outputs one rotation. The first three here are also set to one to three, but all the arrows here are pointing towards the engine. So when I click the button here, we can see that the RPS increases, but the torque decreases. But on this engine here, the torque increases dramatically. This can cause sometimes the engine to cut out when it's having to put a load onto the propeller down there, but is ideal if you want to get to move fast. We can then turn on this one here, which does the exact same, but increases it much further, as well as decreasing the torque. If we go back to the engine, the torque is extremely high, as well as the RPS slowly going down. And if we finally engage this one, we're having some problems with the engine keeping up. And as we can see, it's just died. So here we have a fresh one. I'm going to re-enable the engine. And we're going to go past the first three. As we can see, they sped up the propeller, but caused the engine to cut out. Here we have the next three, which are also set to one to three. But these arrows are pointing away from the engine. This means that for every one rotation the gearbox does, it slows the rotation it outputs by dividing it by three. So for example, six rotations on the engine, we will only get two rotations at the propeller. But this dramatically increases the torque. So if we engage this one, we can see the RPS goes down, but the torque shoots up. As we go back to the engine, we can see that the engine's just running exactly the same. Slight decrease in torque, but nothing to worry about. We'll do the next one. The torque increases a lot more, but we're basically just not getting any RPS. We'll go back to the engine. It's working at the exact same, but the torque again has slowly went down. And finally, we can see that the torque shoots up dramatically to, to over 2,000. That's time, pretty much 20 times the amount we were initially getting. But it's taking two seconds just to do a rotation. This isn't really worth it. This would be ideal if, you, if it was moving a bit faster for vehicles such as big heavy tankers as it's very powerful, allowing you to start up and start moving a lot faster. So I'm just going to turn off these now. And as we can see, the propeller just slowly starts to speed up. And we finally come onto the gearbox at the end. This is set to, for one rotation here, it reverses it on the output. This is going to be used for reverse most often. So I would, I would not recommend you, you using a gearbox slowing down the engine, the output, and then one speeding it up as it's basically just cancelling each other out. Or have have them both, but only have one engaged at a time. For example, you would use the ones that increase the torque when you're starting, and ones that increase the RPS when you're already moving. I'd love to hear any of your feedback, questions or suggestions down in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed today's video, please consider giving it a like 
And if you truly loved it, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.